a 3-0 and day to start the MLB playoffs, and we got four more games. Let's talk some baseball. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back in to another episode for Just a Bet Outside. I am your host, Steven, ready to talk some more baseball, and what a day one it was in the MLB. Love starting with that 3-0 and sweep. Second day in a row on the channel, of the 3-0 and sweep. Let's see if we can stay hot today. Baseball has a way of humbling you quickly as a better. But uh, two quick reminders. NHL season preview video is out now. That's Karan. Um, put that out. Uh, new member of the team. We're really excited for him to do NHL all season long. And then, of course, before we dive into anything, I got to tell you about our partner, Bet Any Sports. Sign up now and you get a 30% cash bonus using that QR code right there on the screen or the link below in the description. I'm telling you guys, this is an awesome website. Me and Ryan are having a ton of fun. You get free league live streams, watch every game live and all different sports. When you do your sports betting here, reduce juice lines, line discounts, all that kind of stuff. Top tier online casinos. I mean, there's a ton of casinos. If you like to play blackjack, roulette, slots, whatever it is, this is awesome. Lotto platform. And then like I mentioned before, you want to go bet on the horses? You can do that too. They got tracks all over the world. So Go join Bet Any Sports right now. Get that 30% cash bonus. But other than that, guys, I'm ready to get into it. I mean, we got a four-game slate. It's uh, it's heating up because we now have the Astros, Orioles, Brewers, and Braves on the brink of elimination with only a best-of-three series here. So let's get right into it. And that means it's time for the MLB Fun Fact. In honor of Pete Rose passing away, rest in peace, one of the best players to ever play the game. He was the only player to play more than 500 games at five different positions. That is insane. He actually played 595 games or more at five different positions. First base, second base, third base, left field, and right field. One of the best to ever do it. But anyways, in this video, we're going to recap yesterday. Then we'll go over the good and bad hitter matchups. We'll go over the good pitcher strikeout matchups, the entire pitcher report, and then, of course, we'll finish it with our best bets the hitter parlay ideas, and the bets recap. So hit that like button. Leave a comment below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as we're on our way to 29,000 subscribers. And if you are new, just a reminder, on late Wednesday night, we will be releasing our Thursday night football video, um, giving out our best bets and previewing that game between the Falcons and the Bucks. But let's get into it, and it starts with the recap. There it is, the three beautiful green check marks. Cole Reagan's over five and a half Ks. I think he ended with eight, um, something right around there. He just dominated the Orioles. The Orioles could not do anything as they lose one to zero today. Nice, easy winner there. Brewers team total over three and a half. It was an easy winner because they got their fourth run in the fourth inning. So that was an easy cash, but they never scored again and lost eight to four. Uh, we'll take the win though. And then Padres minus one and a half to end the night, plus 145 banger that's right of course only a half unit for me but um three and oh today up 1.72 units as the Padres shut out that Braves team uh one hell of a performance by Michael King that was just unbelievable but anyways that's the start that's the three and oh day and now let's talk some good and bad hitter matchups all right we got 13 good hitter matchups for you today starting out with Marcelo Zuna our boy six for 17 off of Joe Musgrove uh, then we got Renfro, Paul DeYoung, uh, some kind of lesser name guys. But then we got Matt Olson, three for nine, also off Musgrove. Um, and then over there on the right, Luisa Reyes, four for eight off Max Freed. Profar, three for eight. Um, and then so on and so on. And then the man, the myth, the legend, Bobby Witt, three for six. If he wasn't on the team, they would be horrendous. Literally, that's the only reason they got their one run. This team cannot score unless Bobby Witt dominates, it seems like. But anyways, three for six off of Eflin. So... Take a screenshot. Those are the good hitter matchups for the day. Now let's check out the bad, and we only have two. Manny Machado, one for 14 with two Ks off of Max Freed, and Ozzy Albies, two for 13 with four Ks off of Joe Musgrove. So that's what we got for the hitters, and I'm sorry. I absolutely lied to you. We do not have any good pitcher strikeout matchups again today. Um, you know, you guys know the drill. These are good teams. They don't strike out a ton, but there are some good pitchers. So doesn't mean there's nothing to nothing good to bet on. It just means the arms right now, um, just no great pitcher strikeout matchup. So that means we are heading straight to the pitcher report. All right, these are the four matchups of the day, starting out with Holton of the Tigers. He is a late inning reliever. He's just an opener. That's what he's going to be. I think Reese Olsen, uh, I forgot who else it might be that comes in after him, uh, but he's good for probably one to two innings, just so you guys know, but he's been solid this year. Uh, Hunter Brown there to try to save the Houston Astros season. We know he's been solid this year, 3-4-90 RA, above average K rate. 
Um, you know, we'll see. He's had some blow-up games, but he's also been pretty dominant, and they need him to show up. And then the Orioles, also on the brink of elimination, going up against Seth Lugo. The Kansas City Royals will have the pitching advantage in this one. Lugo has been good. Uh, it's not a huge pitching advantage, but I do like what I've seen from Lugo this year, allowing a lot less hits. Um, but most both guys are about average when it comes to Ks. Then the lefty, Sean Manai of the Mets, going up against Frankie Montas. Montas. Sorry, I said that wrong. But the Milwaukee Brewers win the division, and after one game are already now on the brink of elimination, counting on Mr. Frankie. That's not so good because Frankie's not been that great. Let's face it. Doesn't have great command. 10.1% uh, walk rate, average K rate, uh, 4, 4 ERA. You know, nothing special from him, that's for sure. And this Mets lineup, as you know, they can score runs in bunches. Manai has been pretty solid this year, especially second half of the year. 3 4 7 ERA, nice 25% K rate. This was almost a good pitcher strikeout matchup. Manaya versus the Brewers, if they've struck out quite a bit lately against lefties, but Manaya has just been kind of hit and miss. Uh, the Milwaukee Brewers just crushed him last time, and uh, he's also not as good striking guys out on the road, just so you guys know. So, anyways, the final matchup Max Fried, Joe Musgrove. We're going to talk about this one later, but that is one heck of a pitching matchup. So, there's the pitcher report. Take a screenshot. Hopefully, this helps you get some winners. And now it is time for the best bets. All right, this first bet takes us out to San Diego, where you know the Fathers are hosting the Atlanta Braves. Padres on the money line, minus 120. Braves on the money line, plus 100, with a total of seven runs. My best bet in this game is the under of seven runs. I know it is ugly. Minus 115 on DraftKings and Ben MGM. I see a big-time pitcher's duel in this one, so let's talk about it. The lefty, Max Freed, going up against the righty, Joe Musgrove. Uh, Freed, one of the better lefties in the major leagues, as most of you know. It limits heart contact, only giving up 13 home runs in 174.1 innings this year. He's also given up two or less earned runs in five of his last eight starts in 146 hits in 174.1 innings. Great command. He is a stud. Um, he has been for most of his career. Similar home road numbers, so nothing big there. But in the month of September... In case you're wondering about his form, how about a 214 ERA, a 211 batting average against, and a 293 slugging? That is ridiculously low. Uh, facing a Padres offense that we've talked about before, they struggle more versus lefties than they have versus righties. In the month of September versus lefties, 22nd WRC plus, fifth lowest batting average, eighth lowest slugging. They only scored nine runs against lefties and 145 plate appearances in the month of September. To compare, the Guardians had 144 plate appearances, right about similar. They scored 24 runs. The Padres have struggled against lefties, and this is one of the better lefties. I expect him to slow them down. Then we got Joe Musgrove on the mound for the Padres. Uh, been absolutely elite lately. Uh, zero earned runs. In four of the last seven. That's right. I said zero in four of the last seven. Since he came back from injury, he has given up two or less earned runs now in seven of those nine games. He's starting to miss some bats again. We know because I got burned by when this whole thing started. And I had an under case propped and he just crushed me and made me look stupid. But he has six plus Ks now and five straight starts uh, facing an Atlanta team. As we saw last night, they can strike out a little bit. So if he can miss a lot of bats, it'll help him get out of jams or just get through the innings easily. Um, but at home, in five starts, he's pitched at home since his injury. Four total earned runs given up in 27.2 innings. This guy has been elite. Um, now, facing a Braves offense, they have good numbers versus righties the last three weeks. I'm going to be honest. Um, they're high in WRC+, plus, slugging, average, all that kind of stuff. But I knew there was something to it, so I looked into it. They face guys like McGill, Alec Marsh, Brady Singer, McCahan, uh, Aller, Belozo, Aguilar, I mean, guys, we're not talking good righties at all. So, um, you know, obviously we know Austin Riley's out. cunha has been out most of the year. Um, this is not the same lineup. They have some weapons. I'm not going to lie. Michael Harris, Ozuna, and those boys. Um, but uh, I, I just don't think this offense is that great, to be honest with you right now, especially against a guy like Musgrove, who is just dominating. And then bullpens, we've talked about this as well. These are two of the best bullpens in the entire major leagues. The Braves bullpen, I didn't love in game one. With two of their arms throwing in that doubleheader in both games, now they are going to be more rested. I think they're going to, and they're all hands on deck right now. If there's any sort of jam or, um, you know, if the start, if Freed even does get in a little bit of trouble um, in the middle of the game, they're going to be ready to go to their best arms because this is win or go home for them right now. And then we know the Padres uh, bullpen. They're just absolutely loaded. Um, so I like this to be just one of those rock fights like we saw in a few of those games yesterday in game one. I like the under seven in this one. That is my first best bet. All right, before we get to that second one, we got to mention because of our partnership with Odd Shopper, we can get you this promo with Bet365. You bet $5, you get $200 in bonus bets. All you got to do, click that link below when you sign up for Bet365. 
uh, it's a great deal. I've always told people if you want to be profitable, one of the things that can help is having multiple sports books out there, and this is one of them. And then you can start. All you got to do is sign up using the link, deposit 10 bucks, and then place a $5 bet. Does not matter what happens with that $5 bet, you are going to get 200 in bonus bets. So it's a great deal. Limited time only. Go check it out. Of course, you must be 21 years or older to gamble. If you have a gambling problem, call or text 1 800 Gambler. All right, back to the bets. All right, this second one takes us out to Milwaukee where the Brewers host the New York Mets. Mets on the money line, minus 110. Brewers are at minus 110. It is a coin flip game. Total in this game is seven and a half runs. I'm taking a team total just like I did yesterday, but we're changing teams. Giving the Mets team total over three and a half runs at minus 130 on DK because I'm uh, scared, I guess. I'm just putting half units on bets today again. I'm going to just ease my way into the playoffs. You guys do what you want, but let's talk about this Mets team total. It is a bit juicy, but minus 130. Um, I do like it still at three and a half runs. So Frankie Montas takes the mound for the Brewers. If you don't know him, he's not your typical number two starting pitcher um, for a playoff team. Uh, he has just under five ERA this season. He's also in bad form. In the month of September, 5.55 ERA with 12 walks in 24.1 innings. That's pretty much one walk every two innings. You're welcome. Yep, I did the math. Hash brown math. He struggles quite a bit versus lefties. 276 average against. 497 slugging in a 370 on base percentage. Now, the Mets aren't just loaded with lefties like up and down, but three of their top, I'd say, five hitters are going to be lefties Francisco Lindor, who's been awesome, Brandon Nimmo, and Jesse Winker, who comes in whenever there's righties on the mound. He can work counts, draw walks, and also hits pretty well, um, also. So I think these three guys can help uh, get some damage against him. Uh, and in his last start versus them, or sorry, his last start for uh, Montas was against these Mets. So this will be the second one in a row. He went only four innings. He gave up two, two runs, six Ks, and three walks. It was a decent performance, but I trust this Mets offense a lot more than Montas to make their adjustments on the second one. And uh, I just like what the Mets offense are doing. Last three weeks, Mets, they've been average in most categories, but this is the playoffs. And I think we have a bunch of gamers in this Mets offense. They are a team on a mission, in my opinion. But anyways, they're average in most categories, but four of those righties were against Schwellenbach twice, Zach Wheeler, and Aaron Nola. Another one was in the doubleheader of that Monday night game against the Braves where they had not their A lineup out because they already clinched the playoff spot. So I think the numbers are skewed a little bit. This is a top 10 offense in my opinion, um, and I don't see Montas staying or getting in their way of how well they've been hitting the ball right now. And uh, you know what? If they get some walks, if Montas is, does not have his command, he is a guy who can walk three or four easily. Um, yes, the Brewers have a good bullpen, but I think that's why we're getting this discounted line at three and a half as well. If he struggles, you might see Tobias Myers, who's been pretty decent for the Brewers as well. But again, I'm just asking for four. And as the road team, uh, you obviously get nine guaranteed at bats as well, which you got to love. So my second best bet in this video is the Mets team total over three and a half runs. It's also my final bet on this video. I will more than likely add at least one more play in the morning in the pinned comments on X and on Discord. Discord link is below, and it's free to join, obviously. Um, so I just want to point that out. There's still some player props that haven't been out yet, and uh, I just want to make sure I get this third one right. So that's what we got for the best bets. But before we get out of here, let's check out those hitter parlay ideas. All right, we got two hitter parlay ideas today. Again, betting hitter props are going to be tough in the playoffs because there is a ton of starting pitchers that are just absolutely elite. Um, I think ours went one and two yesterday. Again, I'm not saying parlay these two. I'm just giving you guys some ideas. First one, Francisco Lindor. He has been very good this season. 0 for 4 in game one, though. I love the bounce back spot here. One plus hit in seven of the last eight regular season games. Two plus hits in four of the last six. Hit over 300 in September, facing Montas, who we just talked about. And he's also hitting 277 off righties, hitting better on the road at 286. Montas struggles against lefties like we just mentioned in bet number two. 276 average, 497 slugging against lefties compared to 209 average and 340 slugging against righties. I like the matchup. I like the bounce back spot here. Leadoff hitter could get five ABs. Give me Lindor. Second one, Marcelo Zuna, a guy we have talked about a lot this season. One of the best hitters in the major leagues with 39 bombs, 102 ribbies, 304 average. Facing Musgrove, who's been really good lately, of course. It's the playoffs. These are the kind of pitchers you're going to see. But he is 6 for 17 off Musgrove, as you saw in the good hitter matchups. Um, he's hit a little bit better left versus lefties, like we talked about, but he's actually closed that gap now. He's hitting 297 off righties this season, crushing on the road right now. He hit 317 on the road this year. And in fact, in his last 15 road games, he has one plus hit in 14 of those last 15. Give me Ozuna to get a hit. Possibly maybe look at an over one and a half bases prop. 
uh, if you want to take a chance there. But Lindor, Ozuna, those are my two hitter parlay ideas. My two best bets, again, it will be added in the morning in the pinned comments on X and on Discord. And then also all the research help you need. So before we get out of here, let's check out the recap. All right, these are the two plays. Under seven runs, Braves, Padres, minus 115 on DK. I am throwing a half unit on it. Mets team total over three and a half. 130 on DraftKings, minus 130, that is, for another half unit. And then there will be at least one more added play in the morning. So thank you guys for watching again. I appreciate it. Uh, it's fun talking MLB playoffs, and I love just watching playoff baseball during the day. It's pretty awesome. So uh, if you haven't already hit that like button, I appreciate it. But hope you all have a great Wednesday, and we'll talk to you soon.